Good morning, brothers and sisters. We have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Colossians 1.9 Godly living results from being controlled by the principles of God's word. Paul's prayer for the Philippians is closely paralleled by his prayer for the Colossians. Both epistles were written from the same Roman prison at about the same time in Paul's life. Both prayers focus on godly living, but each approaches it from a slightly different perspective. The Philippians were gracious people who needed to exercise greater knowledge and discernment in their love. The Colossians also were gracious, but their devotion to Christ was being challenged by heretics who taught that Christ is insufficient for salvation and godly living. True spirituality, the false teacher said, is found in Christ plus human philosophy, religious legalism, mysticism, or asceticism. Paul encouraged the Colossian believers and refuted the false teachers by showing the utter sufficiency of Christ. At the outset of his prayer, Paul stressed the importance of being controlled by the knowledge of God's will, which is his revealed word. That's the meaning of the Greek word translated filled in verse 9. Knowledge translates a word that speaks of a deep, penetrating knowledge that results in behavioral change. Spiritual wisdom and understanding refers to knowledge that cannot be known through human reasoning or philosophy. It is imparted by the Holy Spirit himself. In effect, Paul was saying, I pray that you will be continually controlled by the life-transforming knowledge of God's will, which the Holy Spirit imparts as you prayerfully study and meditate on God's word. Scripture supplies the principles you need to live a godly life. The Spirit gives you the power to do so. Many false teachers will try to divert you from the simplicity of devotion to Christ by offering you philosophy, psychology, and a myriad of other hopeless alternatives. Don't be victimized. In Christ, you have everything you need. Maranatha.